Sean H6. Hello and welcome to another video from War Secrets. Into the 1960s, China held a close working military and political relationship with the Soviet Union. As such, their past technologies to the flourishing ranks of China, which benefited from Soviet-designed and developed weapons of all types. It was this relationship that set the stage for the well-established and growing Chinese military we witness today. The Chinese military has since succeeded in developing some of the most astounding weaponry the world has ever seen. One of this Chinese military's most valued technological assets is the Tupolev Tu-16 series strategic bomber recognized by NATO as Badger. The Tu-16 was introduced with the Soviet air power in 1954 and operated until 1993 before being retired. Key operators of the type went on to include Egypt, Indonesia, and Iraq, with some 1,500 produced in all. The Chinese were in turn recipients of their first Tu-16 airframe in 1958. These Tu-16s were renamed the Xi'an H-6, and the first Chinese Air Force Tu-16 flew as the H-6 the following year. In this video, we are going to tell you about Chinese bomber Xi'an H-6. Watch the video till the end to know all about this Chinese bomber. Just before we start, don't forget to subscribe to War Secrets to enjoy free content related to wars. Also, turn your notifications on to never miss any updates from War Secrets. Now, let's get started. History In the late 1950s, China acquired several Tu-16 twin-engine jet bombers from Soviet Union that were later designated as the Xi'an H-6. In 1959, the first indigenously produced Xi'an H-6 conducted its maiden flight. Approximately 160 to 180 aircraft were domestically produced. The H-6 was built as a strategic bomber originally planned to act as a nuclear bomb deterrent, which then paved the way to a more traditional bombing role due to technological advancements such as ballistic missiles launched from land or by submarines. Marine. As a result, ballistic missiles entirely abolished the need for aircraft in the same nuclear delivery row. Strategic bombers were popular since the First World War and needed an aircraft designed with a strong built-in endurance concept that could haul thousands of pounds of ordnance over enemy territory, aiming at particular enemy positions such as factories. After some time, Chinese H-6 bombers were improved to support guided missiles ordnance to lengthen their functionalities on the battlefield for years. Design The first domestically produced H-6 was completed in 1968, and evidence of bombing training was recorded by U.S. spy satellites on August 13, 1971. By March of the following year, the CIA estimated that the PRC had 32 aircraft operational with an additional 19 awaiting completion. The H-6 was used to drop nine nuclear devices at the Lopnor test site. However, with the increased development in the ballistic missile technology, the nuclear delivery capabilities that the H-6 offered diminished in importance. The CIA estimated in 1976 that the H-6 had moved over to a dual nuclear conventional bombing role. The Sean H-6 has a smooth cylindrical fuselage with an external length of 34.8 meters, a height of 10.36 meters, and a diameter of 2 meters. It has a retractable undercarriage which incorporates a two-wheeled nose leg and four-wheeled main legs. It has a wheelbase of 11.6 meters. The wide-spanning swept-back wings have a wingspan of 33 meters and a wing area of 165 square meters. It can accommodate up to four crew members. Weaponry and Engine The new Chinese H-6 bomber has got new engines and carries more fuel for a longer range. It has a revised forward fuselage. The nose navigation cabin was replaced with radome. Composite materials were used in the construction of the bomber. As a result, the bomber has a reinforced structure. The rear 23mm guns and gunner position were replaced with electronic components. It now requires a smaller crew to operate. There are ejection seats for the crew. It is believed that the aircraft has significantly improved avionics, search and attack radar, navigation, fire control, and weapon precision. This bomber carries air launcher cruise missiles under its wings. There are six hardpoints for missiles. This bomber can carry CJ-10A cruise missiles with conventional or nuclear warheads. 
The CJ-10 is the first long-range land attack missile developed in China. It was specially designed to counter the U.S. Navy's carrier battle groups. The air launcher CJ-10A has a range of 2,000 to 2,200 km. It can also carry YL-12 anti-ship missiles with a range of around 400 km. The aircraft is fitted with Russian Saturn D-30 KP-2 turbofan engines. Some sources report that this engine was reverse engineered in China. The new engines have greater thrust. The H6K has greater maximum takeoff weight and payload and the previous version of the H6. Also, it seems that the new aircraft has a more favorable weight to thrust ratio. This results in improved fuel efficiency and improved range. The bomb bay was eliminated in favor of extra fuel for a longer range. As a result, the H6K has a longer range than its predecessors. It was reported that the indigenous WS-18 engine is now under development to replace the Russian D-30 KP-2. The H6K has a combat radius of 3,500 km. Long-range cruise missiles effectively extend the bomber's range to about 4,000 to 5,000 km. It is enough to reach Japan, Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Guam, Hawaii, Alaska, and Moscow from China mainland without leaving the air defense zone. The aircraft is powered by two Xi'an WP-8 turbojet engines mounted within the wing roots which produce a maximum thrust of 21,000 pounds each. It has a maximum speed of 570 knots and a travel range of 3,200 nautical miles. It can fly up to 42,000 feet and can climb at a rate of 3,600 feet per minute. The takeoff distance is 2,100 meters, while the landing distance is 1,539 meters. The Xi'an H6 has a maximum takeoff weight of 79,000 kg, a maximum landing weight of 46,000 kg, a maximum payload of 39,000 kg, and a fuel capacity of 12,125 gallons. Variants The H6 has gone through a complex series of iterations and upgrades since entering Chinese service in the 1960s. New variants such as the H6K and H6N, operated by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, and the H6J operated by the People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force, are vastly more capable aircraft than the old Tu-16. They also mark a major improvement over the previous generation of H6 platforms such as the G, H, and M. Another updated variant, the HD-6, is understood to be a dedicated electronic warfare aircraft. In addition to heavy payloads of standoff-range weapons, the KJ and N variants are powered by two Soloviab D-30 turbofans, which are far more efficient than the WPA turbojets that powered previous H6. There is also speculation that the type has been fitted with a locally developed WS-18 turbofan, the engine that will eventually power the Xi'an Y-20 strategic transport. With much larger engine inlets to accommodate the upgraded power plant, the K, J, and N variants dispense with the original glass nose of the Tu-16 and H6, replacing it with a solid nose housing for a passive scanned array or potentially an active electronically scanned array radar. It also has an electro-optical infrared turret under the fuselage. The tail gunner station found in previous iterations makes way for a fully enclosed tail. Despite all improvements, this bomber is dated back to the 1950s. It seems that the H6K is only an interim solution until an entirely new bomber is available. Some sources report that such bomber is already under development in China. As it stands, the Xi'an H6 force is still an active part of Chinese military operation and would be called upon in full strength in the event of an all-out war with its neighbors or the West. While largely outmoded by modern technology and holding origins in 1950s directive, the H6 family of aircraft are available to the Chinese military in useful numbers to provide a decent stopgap threat to advancing land targets and maritime shipping in the theater. Modifications to the base H6 system have only enhanced the original aircraft's offering and allowed H6 to remain a valuable battlefield tool in 2013. However, there is no denying that this family of aircraft has lived beyond its expected usefulness and retains many design limitations when compared to modern offerings. It offers few stealthy features and its performance is regarded as only adequate.
That's all for this video. We hope you guys like it and if yes, then don't forget to like the video and comment down below which other war related topics are you interested in. See you all in the next time. Cheers!